In this video, you are going to learn combination reactions. A combination reaction is a reaction in which two or more substances combine to form a single new substance. Combination reactions can also be called synthesis reactions. The general form of a combination reaction is a plus b equals a b. One combination reaction is two elements combining to form a compound. Solid sodium metal reacts with chlorine gas to produce solid sodium chloride. A is sodium, b is chlorine gas. Putting these two together, it will form sodium chloride. That's the AB compound. Just make sure to write the chemical formula correctly by always considering the charges of each element. Also, it is important to remember the seven elements that exist in nature as diatomic molecules like hydrogen gas, nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, fluorine gas, chlorine gas, bromine gas, and iodine gas. Another example, we have lithium plus fluorine gas. What would be the product? Write lithium and fluorine together, then consider the charges and perform the crisscross method. Lithium is positive 1, fluorine is negative 1, therefore, that is just cancelled out. So, this is now our product. Take note, there is only one product for the combination reaction. If you are going to ask why the subscript to fluorine is not being placed in the product side, take note again. The subscript to of chlorine and fluorine in the reactant side symbolizes that they are diatomic atoms. As what we have mentioned earlier, if they would be written alone, it should be in gaseous state or write them as a diatomic molecule. One sort of combination reaction that occurs frequently is the reaction of an element with oxygen to form an oxide. Metals and non-metals both react readily with oxygen under most conditions. Magnesium reacts rapidly and dramatically when ignited, combining with oxygen from the air to produce a fine powder of magnesium oxide. Again, any metal element that combines with oxygen gas, it will produce a metal oxide, like magnesium and oxygen. Magnesium is the metal element combined with oxygen to form a metal oxide, which is magnesium oxide. Next example is aluminum as our metal, then oxygen. It will form a metal oxide compound, which is aluminum oxide. Now we have calcium and phosphorus as our reactants. What product would be formed? Again, just write the symbols together, then consider the charges. That's positive 2 for calcium and negative 3 for phosphorus. Where did we get that? In the periodic table. After assigning the charges, now do the crisscross method. Then that's it. The product formed from the reactants calcium and phosphorus is CO3P2. Question. Why there is no subscript 2? in phosphorus like chlorine and fluorine. Because phosphorus is not a diatomic molecule, it is a monoatomic substance. In another case, when non-metal reacts with oxygen, it form another type of compound. That is non-metal oxide or a molecular compound. Like, sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. Remember, when non-metals react with one another, the product is a molecular compound. Often, the non-metal reactants can combine in different ratios and produce different products. Sulfur can also combine with oxygen to produce sulfur trioxide. Note that, if oxygen is in an excess amount, it will be in trioxide. In limited amount, that's dioxide. Transition metals are capable of adopting multiple positive charges within their ionic compounds. Therefore, most transition metals 
are capable of forming different products in a combination reaction. Iron reacts with oxygen to form both iron to oxide and iron 3 oxide. Again, for iron 2, combined with oxygen, it will form ferrous oxide. And for iron 3 plus oxygen, the product will be formed is ferric oxide. And if metal oxide reacts with water, it will produce a hydroxide or a basic compound. For example, when a metal oxide like sodium oxide reacts with water, it will form a hydroxide compound, which is sodium hydroxide. Another example, calcium oxide added with water, it will produce calcium hydroxide. Always make sure to assign the charges for you to have the correct formula of the product. Another reaction, when a non-metal oxide combines with water it will produce an acidic compound. For example, sulfur trioxide as our non-metal oxide. Added with water it will produce sulfuric acid. Another example, carbon dioxide plus water, the product will be formed is carbonic acid. Again, don't forget to assign the charges for you to have the correct formula of the product. Did you follow? Very good. I guess you're very much ready. Now it's your turn. Give the products of the following reactants. Comment your answer. Thank you. Hope you learned valuable today. Kindly like, share, subscribe. And hit the notification bell for you to be updated with our next video tutorial in chemistry. Learn chemistry with Sir D. Vlogs and tutorials.